Thursday, April 30th. Let's look at our activities for the day. We have three of them here. I've got them up here. We've got Rhyme Time, and I've put Kinsey's name there. There's Kinsey. And then I've got Clap and Color. I put Connor's name. And then down here, we'll look at this in a few minutes, but that is egg sequencing. Can you see it? All right, we'll look at that in just a minute. Let's go ahead with the first one. All right, with rhyme time. What you're going to do here, boys and girls, is you're going to look at the picture of three things. You're going to say them, and if they rhyme, you're going to color them. So you're going to find and color the rhymes in the rectangle. So we have, let's say them, plain, boot, rain. Aha! Plain, boot, rain. What rhymes? Plain, boot, plain, rain? Yes, plain and rain, okay? I guess I could have tricked you a little more. So you would color plain and rain. Next picture, we have dog, umbrella, and frog. Do you hear something that rhymes? Is it umbrella and frog? Frog and dog? Yeah, listen to that. Dog, frog. Hear that vowel? That's that short O sound. Dog and frog. So you're going to color them. Down here in this rectangle, we have B key mouse. B key mouse. What rhymes? Is it B and mouse? Mouse and key? How about B and key? Yes, B key. B key. It's a long E sound you're hearing. And in the last one, we have a square, pear, cat. Did you hear a rhyme? Square, pear, cat. Does the cat go with square? Does the square go with pear? Yes, those two. So you're going to color those two items. Okay, next one. All right, boys and girls, let's look at our clap and color. Now, with clap and color, I've got Connor's name up there. This one, you've got four different colors there. If it's a one-syllable word, you're going to color it red. Two-syllable, you're going to color it yellow. Three-syllable, we're going to color it green. Four-syllable, we're going to color it blue. Now, we haven't done this in a while. Miss Sue has not done this with you since I was with you, I think, in February. So we're going to do this one together, okay? Because it's been a while since we practiced this. Let's look at all these different items. I'm going to say them, and as we say them, let's clap. I'm going to say that this is either a spade or a shovel. We're going to go with shovel, all right? Shovel. Shovel. The next picture. What did you think it was? Yes, it's a slice of watermelon. 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 Okay. Then we've got butterfly. Worm. Rainbow. Lightning. Okay. So let's now see how many syllables they have. We said that this is shovel. Shovel. Two. Shovel. We clap two times, so you're going to color the shovel yellow. Let's look at the watermelon. Watermelon. You should have clapped four times, so you're going to color the watermelon blue. Then we have butterfly. Butterfly. Are you clapping with me? Yes. Butterfly has three syllables. You're going to color it green. Then we've got Worm. Worm. That's just one. Color it red. Then we've got rainbow. Rainbow. It has how many? Did you say two? Yes. Color it the yellow. All right. And umbrella. 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 Three syllables. So you're going to color it green. Okay? Good job. All right. Now, Connor, Mr. Two Syllables, we're going to put you over here. 
let's look at this page. Whose name do you see here, boys and girls? Yes, it's our friend Zach. Now, on Zach's page right here, this is sequencing again. We've had a great deal of practice with sequencing. I have one, two, three, and four on this page. And I have four things down here. You're going to cut these out and you're going to put them in order. Now when you think about a baby bird that is eventually born, how does it start? What is the first thing you see? Yes, you will see the egg. And then what happens to the egg, boys and girls? Yes, it begins to crack. And then eventually the baby bird begins to emerge or come out of the egg. And then we see the baby bird. Okay, so you're going to put them in order. How would you do it? What's number one? Yes, number one goes right here. What would happen second? Number two, it begins to crack. Yes, right there. And third, number three, it would be the little bird almost out. And then last, you have your baby chick. So it would be number four. So you would put it there. So that is your three activities for this Thursday, April 30th. Please get them done anytime you want to send me a picture. I love to get your pictures, boys and girls. Have a good day.